So now, this image that you put up has to have a personal touch. One of the most important things about, you know, that, that image that you put on your personal profile, it should say something about you. And, you know, it's human nature. Sometimes people give us work by just how they see us, even if they don't meet us uh, physically. Uh, when they see your profile, they can, you look like a boy, you look like you have um, your, your self in order, you, you know, you're, you're looking nice. So just groom yourselves as well, as, as good as possible. Take that clean picture. You're wearing your black. You have your hair done really nicely. You have your makeup done really well. And take that image and that's a fast thing that we see there. That's a fast picture. That, that's a fast thing we look at um, you know, on your profile. The other thing you can put now, like personal information, like you know, what um, are your full names? What, are, what is your artist name? Like my artist name is Suki um, and my full names are John Michuki. So that I have to outline there so that, you know, later when someone is writing a check, they don't write Suki because I will not get some money. So, um, you know, age, very, very important also. You can just put your age down there. Um, and then now, your makeup artist profile um, should have something like a bio just you know like three two or three four uh, paragraphs um stating all these details you know um your area of expertise your years of experience your future aspirations and also your profile should be well put together it should be short captivating uh not too complex uh it should not have any typos it should be something that someone can read out loud and be happy with basically you saying what you do um, and what you hope to become apart from this profile being a situation where someone can see your face and get your contacts it should be it is actually you saying why you do what you do and what you hope to become that's the makeup artist profile and it is amazing so um, this is just like one page, you know, um, it should be like just, you know, just one page uh, of you stating all this information. Um, and remember, cleanliness and order cuts across the board uh, for your personal hygiene to your sanitized makeup um, setup um, and also to your paperwork, you know, whether in soft copy or physical. So you must be, you know, very well, like even like how you've highlighted the information, uh, the font you've used, the colors that you've used, the image, how you've put the image and how you've placed everything. It should say something about you. You should be like, it should say that this person is, you know, has good order, this person. Um, looks that like they're serious, they're professional, and they've created a document that looks really nice. So that's one aspect of um, the most uh, important overall aspect of um, your profile um, that takes us now to that point where we jump onto your CV. If a client goes through your profile and they don't like it as much, they won't now go to your CV. But if you make your profile as interesting as possible, the client will be so interested to jump onto your CV and see what you have done over the years. You had already stated that you have four years, two years, one year, ten years of experience. After putting that, they'll be like, oh, this person looks really professional now. I'm looking to hire them for uh, bridal makeup or film makeup or film project or theater. Let me see the project that, that the projects that this person has done in this particular area. So they'll jump to your CV now, and then they will click onto whatever jobs that you've done. And I'll tell you guys next about how to 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 do your CV uh, or your portfolio. Um, and they'll hire you for the job. So makeup artist profile, clean, orderly, precise, straight to the point, short, good grammar personal information, a bit of, you know, a three paragraph story of like what you do, why you do what you do, your years of experience, and all the information that we need to, to know. Let us know something about you. And that's, you know, you put it there, your picture, your contact information, 
this page should be in a PDF, most preferably, because you know it, it, it just appears more professional. Like when you do a document in, on, on PDF, it shouldn't be like something that someone you know just made for you and it comes out like uh, maybe um, as a PNG or a picture or something. It should be on PDF. It's a document that you're sending. You're representing yourself to this uh, to this potential client that you haven't met yet. So for you to meet them, you have to be appealing on the first, you know, your first um, uh, and on your first encounter, even if it's not physical. And right now, because we are not meeting a lot of uh, clients physically, especially with uh, the COVID uh, situation, we have to create good profiles that we can send to our clients, that we can send to our potential clients, that we can send to uh, people who can connect us with um, other people who can give us work. So a good makeup artist profile is really, really important.